Good morning. It's great to see you again. Hi. Today's story is located on page 540 in your Sparks Bible. I hope you've marked it. And it's about Paul's letters. Now, first of all, do you remember a couple of weeks ago when we talked about a story about Saul who became Paul? Do you remember that God made him blind and had a purpose that he wanted Paul to do? And Paul became a Christian, and so he was sent what God wanted him to do. He wanted Paul to go to other countries all over the area and talk to them about becoming a Christian, about Jesus and about God. And so he traveled across uh, lands like Corinth, and that's in a country called Greece, and Ephesus, and Philippi, and many more. And in the New Testament, um, there are many books of the Bible that are written by Paul. He wrote to the Corinthians in Corinth, the Ephesians in Ephesus, the Philippians in Philippi, and other nations. So let me tell you a little bit about um, how Paul had to travel. So to get to Corinth, say he was leaving from Rome, he would walk to the sea, and then he would take a boat. Now, boats didn't have motors in them in those days. So they would have sails, and when the wind blew, they would travel with the, the sails, and when it wasn't, then they would row their boats with oars. And it usually took a week or sometimes up to two weeks, if there wasn't much wind, to get across the sea. And then Paul would be back to walking. And he would walk hundreds of miles to go to Corinth. They would take about a month or two just to walk from the sea to Corinth. Now, Paul would walk like if we walked from here to Bend, or here to Sisters in a day. So it would take him usually about two months to get to Corinth, just to walk and go by sea. So go by sea for up to two weeks and a month to month and a half to get to Corinth. So let's see what the story tells us. Now our story is only on these two pages. It's a short story today. And it's called Paul's Letters. So Paul's job as an apostle was to tell the story of Jesus to everyone he met. He traveled all over his part of the world and started many churches with people who believed in Jesus. When Paul could not travel with his friends in Rome, he wrote them letters to share God's love. He'd say things like, Dear Christians in Rome, there are three things I tell people who have never heard of Jesus or God. Number one, Jesus was human, like us, and God, both at the same time. Jesus came so people in the world would know how much God loves us. That was number two. Jesus came so people in the world would know how much God loves us. And number three, believing in Jesus and knowing God's love changes your life. Everyone should know this good news. Are you telling people the good news too? The peace of God be with you, Paul. And that would be like one of, one of the things, a few of the things that he would talk about in his letters. 
So, Paul was telling people about the good news of Jesus. Many people believed him and became Christians. They would start meeting together with others. But Paul didn't stay in their towns, and they had questions. How were they going to get answers to their questions? Hmm. Well, if it was now, we could text him a question on our, our cell phones. Maybe we could even email him if we had a longer question. That's what they did. They would write letters is what they decided. Now, we write letters, and our letters, well, here's a letter I got it's in an envelope, and this was Christmas letter, so it was put in there, it was mailed. So first, they had to find a Christian who could read and write. Remember, we've talked earlier in the year about um, most people did not read and write in Jesus' day. So they had to find somebody who was Christian who could read and write and could uh, write a letter for them. And a letter was written and rolled up. And it might have been rolled up like this, the parchment, which is the type of paper they had. And then it would usually be tied with like twine, which is um, thin rope. Or sometimes it would be rolled up in two. So there's two. And then tied up so that it would unwind from both sides. So they got the, the letter written and rolled up. Now what are they going to do with it? How are they supposed to send a letter? There were no mailmen to put it in your box and have it delivered. There was no mail trucks to, to take it across the countries between them. Or then what they decided, well, can anybody take this letter and go deliver it to Paul? And so one of the members of the church agreed to leave and go take this letter. So they would leave their home, they would leave their family, they would leave their job and go take this letter and find Paul. And when they found Paul, they would usually wait for Paul to write an answer to, his, to the letter they sent with all their questions. And then take it home. Now remember when I told you how far Paul would go? And he would probably be hundreds of miles away from the uh, people in Corinth where, where he was at that first time. And it would take months to go walk to where Paul was, wait for him to write a letter, and walk all the way back home. We are lucky because we can read Paul's letters in the Bible because they're in the New Testament and they're in, in um, such books of the Bible as Corinthians, Ephesians, Colossians, Philippians, Romans, Galatians, and Thessalonians. So he wrote lots of letters. So when Paul spread the news about Jesus, he had three things he always told them. Remember, we read about them. He told them that Jesus was human like us, number one, and at the same time, he was God. He was born in a manger. Remember that story? Jesus was born and he was raised up 
and then he shared God's word with us, with his disciples and the Jews in, in uh, Israel. Secondly, he came to show people all over the world how much God loves us. Not just one country or one color of people, but every single person in the world. And the third thing that Paul told us is that believing in Jesus and knowing God's love changes our lives. God wants us to be nice to all people. He wants us to treat everyone else just the way we want to be treated. He wants us to take care of each other. Learning to be that nice or that caring is hard. And we have to work at it every single day. It's easy to say we'll do it but it's harder to do, to go over to the kid that's playing by themselves because no one wants to play with them because they're different. It's easier just to ignore them and play with your friends and have a good time. Think about how you can show your faith in Jesus this week. Can you be nice to someone you see this week? How about picking up your toys without asking, being asked by mom and dad? What can you do to show your faith? Let's fold our hands and pray. Dear God, we give you thanks for Paul, who has helped build this faith of so many people since his life, and continues even now and in the future. We pray that we might encourage the faith of others too. Amen. Thanks for listening.